right? This is your thing. Nothing is face value, and you're the smartest guy in the room, and you sit there looking for errors and baseline perception. We all have our jobs. You have yours. Knock yourself out. JR. Those are his initials. Or it's the contraction for Junior. What fucking difference does it make? Well, there's a very big difference if it is being concealed from him that he's a junior because there is no senior in his life. That may never have occurred to him until you just laid your line of bullshit on a subject to him right to his face. It's my belief that the uncertainty about the meaning of his name and the continual questions about it have left him without identity. Very impressive. No identity, hence identity crisis. He has no identity, which causes rage. He has dubiety about his identity, possibly. How sure are you about your identity? Hmm? I'm curious because you seem very interested in his father and his absence, and you've cast it in this very negative light, and you bring the kid in here, and you traumatize him. We both know you're calling his mother up and asking her out on dates. I don't know. That's... So you're willing to traumatize a little kid in order to hit on his mother? What, what are you? Oh, Detective Danny, you are so deflective. With every objective, you are so ineffective. This isn't subjective, it's everyone's perspective. Irrespective of your elective subjectives, the verdict is you are effective. Uh, compliments of uh, Victor Lugo. Are you done now? Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Good, then get the hell out of here. Thank you. My uncle's a cop, thank you. Get out of here. That's a heart attack waiting to happen. <laughs> Attention co-op shoppers, just a reminder that Mercury is in retrograde. So remember to be patient and kind and, and take deep breaths, because plans can go awry. Well, this is my good friend, Yuri. Hello, Jeff. Uh, <laughs> what are you doing? You breaking down boxes, you're picking up the soup kitchen donation. You're cleaning the shitter, that's what you're doing, right? <laughs> you no, know, I'm actually the shift leader at the moment. Oh my god. I can't believe they let kleptomaniacs be a shift leader. <laughs> I'm joking with you. <laughs> no, I mean, who hasn't forgotten to pay for an entire bag of groceries, huh? <laughs> yeah, well, people make mistakes, right? Uh, excuse me? Hi. What, what is that? Oh, it's a delivery from Brett Morris. Diane Clavoen gave us the uh, alarm code. It looks like shit. <laughs> yeah. Literally. But it's a pelts. You ever fucked a felon? Excuse me? Have you ever fucked a felon? <laughs> I don't think that's appropriate. I came to see to avoid appropriate. Isn't that what they said? That the, the sea is the last bastion of truth and lewdness? Quite the opposite, actually. Maritime law is far more severe than any land-based law I'm aware of. It's a big part of the reason I came out here. Have you? In love with a felon? <laughs> no. If you do not shut up at that point, I will send out a Gary Busey impersonator shouting about pie. Michael! Michael! I love pie. I love all kinds of pie. Chocolate, peach, blueberry, every kind of pie, except one kind of pie. Apple. <laughs> if you can't beat your goddamn apple pie, I'll rip out your spleen and feed it to my dog. Yeah! Gary Busey, come on out. Let me tell you something, I love pie, and you cannot have pie on the internet. One time I tried to eat a pie on my iPhone, and it was a rainbow pie that spun around, and I broke my entire face. 